God, Jesus, my friend. Lime kilns such as these were used for burning limestone and turning it into lime. The lime was used for fertilizer, whitewash, plaster, and deodorant for outhouses. Quarried limestone was also used along with coal and iron ore to make pig iron in furnaces such as the Aurora Furnace located just north of these lime kilns in Wrightsville. Lime is manufactured from limestone, a mineral. The limestone is crushed and loaded along with a charge of coal into a tapered, stationary vertical refractory lime tube with the wider bottom permitting the free downward movement of the materials. Burned out with hot air at a temperature of 2000 degrees, the limestone is decomposed emitting carbon dioxide gas leaving calcium oxide, more commonly known as quick lime. Following cooling, the lime is crushed into its useful powder form. The lime industry played a large part in Wrightsville's history. An 1894 bird's eye map of Wrightsville indicates that at least five different sets of kilns were operating in the community. During the late 19th and early 20th centuries, York County was one of the largest producers of lime in Pennsylvania. By late June 1863, the Confederate Army had invaded Pennsylvania. After capturing York, the rebels planned to take the state capital, Hausburg, and possibly Philadelphia. To get there, they would need to cross the Susquehanna River at Wrightsville. Pennsylvania militiamen from Columbia, on the Lancaster County side of the river, vowed to block the Confederate advance. Union troops joined them, as did a company of African-American militiamen. They mustered fuel in 1,500 men. When Confederate Brigadier General John Brown Gordon arrived on June 28 with approximately 1,800 troops, the Federals were waiting in their entrenchments. The rebels opened up with artillery fire, and the Union position rapidly became untenable. The Federals decided to retreat to Columbia and blow up a section of the over-mile-long bridge behind them, denying the rebels access to Lancaster. The explosions failed to destroy the bridge, so the order to burn it was given. As the Confederates surged forward, the bridge erupted in flames. Gordon's men worked for hours to extinguish the blaze. They kept Wrightsville from going up in smoke, but the bridge was destroyed. Gordon's brigade was recalled to York the next day. The Pennsylvania militia had saved Lancaster, 